Hello guys, I hope everyone would have gone through this week's coding question. So let us now dive into each question. So the first question is, is like a pattern type. So this pattern is basically called the Pascal's triangle. So when you understand the concept behind Pascal's triangle, you will easily solve it. Okay. So what is this Pascal's triangle? How does it logic over here? Spice, let me explain you that. So uh, just forget about these uh, things like slash and star. Uh, just imagine the numeric values over here, how we get that numeric values. So simply whatever the value is, the first row will be obviously only one. And you can know that every row starts with number one and ends with number one. Okay, so starting and ending push, push, uh, num values will be same no matter what. And when n values is five, you will be having five rows. And n values is six, you will be having six rows. So how what value will give us n? It will have n rows. Okay. So the second thing will be like one one. So this is also a kind of constant thing. And from the third row, you have this calculation like first and the start ending position will be one one and the middle values will differ based on the previous row okay so i just write it up over here so the first row will be one okay and then the second row will be one one and the third row will start with one and end with one and the middle value will be uh you see two values above this right will be the sum of the two values like the middle value will depend upon the sum of the two values directly above it okay and when it comes to fourth row the starting and ending position is one and the second position will be first two sum that is one plus two is equal to three and the next two sum two plus one is equal to three okay and the like fifth row will be starting and ending position will be one and the second value will be one plus three means here four will come over here and the third value will be three plus three it will be like the previous rows values will be summed up that is uh the first plus second second plus third third plus four and so on okay and four so this is not this is called a Pascal triangle. This is the logic behind Pascal triangle. We are just modifying the Pascal triangle by adding some dashes and stuff. So now let us go into the program. First, let us now solve with Python. Then we will solve using C. So for that, we will getting n value, right? Int input. Okay. And uh, for this, I'm gonna give two. I uh, use two lists that is one will be the current row and the second will be the previous row okay the previous row will be used to calculate the values of the current row so this previous row will be updated every for each iteration right since the row for the second row uh, the previous row will be one for the third row the previous row will be two like that so we have to uh, iteratively update the values of the previous row okay um like so first let us have the current row value as one okay since the first row will be the value start with one we'll just have the values of one so the first thing is i'll just break down for you first we'll print this first row separately and the next things uh goes like this like, really printing the second row and the iteration and calculations will be going from here so these row these two rows will be common for everything right and only the calculation will start from the third row so we'll be separately uh, printing those values so the first row will be current we'll be having space okay, into how many times n minus one times plus one so i'm gonna print n minus one times these dashes and lastly i'm gonna print the one okay and now we are gonna iterate to 
1 comma L. That is, I need already have printer one row, so I'm going to just print uh, like one comma n iteration. Okay. And here I'm gonna print the second row. This will be like no, this is not like second row. Um, for each row, the starting value is one into star rate. So I'm gonna first print. I'm gonna break it down this first. So this will be like uh, n minus one minus i because the slash stars decrementing plus one space star space. Okay. Or uh, you can also give over here end. That's your. You can also give plus operator or condition. Also use this end. Okay. And now I'm gonna have a list to call previous row, which is empty. And now I'm gonna store this current row values into the previous row. I'm gonna update it. Right? will be might confusing when you just run it up manually you will know it better now the current row i'm starting again with one and now i have to find the values of the current row based upon the previous row right for j in range of one comma len of previous row why I have given one comma is already have printed of one over here. Just I need to uh, get the values after the zeroth position. So the current I'm gonna append some values is that is nothing but previous row j plus previous row of j minus one. Since I'm gonna like. Uh, it will be like uh, say, uh, if it is uh, first position it will calculate these two sum that is since uh, I don't say um, yeah since I have to I'm calculating like j plus j j minus 1 it will calculate uh, for the first item it will calculate the first index plus the zeros index and for the second index it will be calculating like the third index and the Sorry, second index and the first index. Okay, I guess you will be clear. So, it's simple like you have to calculate the sum of the two values. That's it. And then I'm gonna print this. This uh, summation. Okay. Um, if it is so big for you, you can just store it up in a variable and append and print. That's your wish. Okay, I'm just printing like this. And and for each thing I have to uh, end up with the star rate. So and finally I have to print the value of one. So first I'm gonna append this one to the current row and I'm printing this one. Okay, yeah, we're pretty much done. So what this all is about is First, I'm gonna have the current row value initialized to 1 and then I'm gonna print the first row values and for the from the second row I have to calculate it for that uh, first I'm just printing what uh, these dashes and up to this one and later on I'm gonna calculate it be, uh, based on the previous row for it I'm considering uh, previous row as empty for, since for the first iter iteration I'm considering previous row as empty and I'm, uh, for each iteration it will be entry because we will be updating right I'm updating the current row values to the previous row and, and I'm assuming again current row values as 1 so you better don't see this see this first like I'm just appending current row uh, in the current row the previous rows values right like I'm gonna if uh, this is the current row and this is a previous row based upon the previous row I'm calculating the current row values and adding to the list to call current row okay and I'm printing it 
and lastly I am appending the value 1 to the current row and then I am updating the previous row value as current row and current row values is again set to 1. Okay. I guess you are clear and now let us run the code and check whether it is perfect. Uh, let me just give 5. Yeah. So the first row will be 1 and second row will be 1 into 1 and third row will be 1 and second value will be 1 plus 1 that is 2 and then 1. So 1, 3, 3, 1 and 1, 4, 4. Okay. So what is the second test case? That is 8, right? Whatever test case you give, uh, it will be perfect. Yeah. So this is all with Python. So the logic is same. You will be having two arrays, previous and current. So you will be calculating the current values based upon the previous values. And then you will be updating. Like you will be saving. Uh, you will be like passing it on. Right? Now let us now solve this in C. And changing the compiler. And changing this comment to C. Oops. I'm deleting this. So for this first, we need the header file, right? Mm, as you can put this video H and implement. And I need a variable called n and an array called previous show. Previous show, let me I think that's one zero one. An array called current row. We can give actually any variables in I for you seem like this so big since to make it understand that I'm just using this variable name. And this will be the current row value will be 1 uh, for, for start. And I need some variables like inj for iteration. And previous index and uh, current index is used to, will be used for iterating to the arrays. That is previous and arrays. The current index let us say first will be 1. Because the first first value will obviously always one, so I have to just calculate from the first index, right? So the zero index will be always constant for the current row. Only from the first index you will be calculating based upon the previous row, right? So first I'm just getting the n value. And uh, now I'm gonna print the first row, right? So for that I need a for loop i is equal to 0 i is lesser than n minus 1 and i plus plus and I'm gonna print the slash and out of the for loop I'm gonna print uh, 1 and I'm gonna make the cursor to the next line okay and now I'm gonna get into the Pascal's triangle. Second row calculations for i is equal to one, i is lesser than oops, i is lesser than n i plus plus. Okay. Now based upon the current index, I have to iterate. So j is equal to zero, j is lesser than current index j plus plus. So I'm gonna store the, since why do we need this current index is, I have to store the values of current index, sorry, current rows to the previous row, right, first, so i is equal to current row of j, yeah, and then previous index will be current index. So the index value will be also the same and now current index first value will be current first value will be obviously 1 I don't need this way let me just scroll down okay. and the current index will be from 1 
now i have to print the hyphen first so j is equal to 0 j is lesser than n minus i minus 1 the same the same logic okay and now i'm going to print the hyphen And out of the for loop, I'm going to print the first value that is 1 space star. From the second value, I have to calculate based upon the previous row, right? I'm going to do that now. For that, for j is equal to 1, j is lesser than previous index, j plus plus. Okay. Now, current row will be current row of. Uh, index will be previous row j plus previous row of j minus 1 and I am incrementing the current index and printing this value that is uh, This thing. Okay, just copy pasting it. I can also use this current row of index. So now I should. And then current row of and the last value should be uh, 1 right. So again 1. And again incrementing the current row index 1. And I'm printing lastly 1 and the cursor is moved to the next man okay this we have got to go let's check yeah it runs perfect and the second test case is 8 right it runs perfect too so the same logic i have done in c so i don't change anything you can just go through it now let us go into the second question so the second question is the program must accept a matrix of size R and C. So you'll be having a matrix of R columns and C, C R rows and uh, C columns and an integer n. Okay. The program has print the matrix in reverse after folding the matrix to the end to end matrix by adding the additional column to the last. So it is like you have to understand the question based upon the test case. Okay. So it is like you will be having a matrix uh, with r into c dimension so and a value of n will be given so what is this value is uh, it is nothing but a column number so if it is 4 from the fourth column to whatever the last column it is we have to sum up these column values and that will be a, a call for example if for, uh, n value is equal 4 from the fourth column that is 1 2 3 4 fourth column to the last the values will be added that is it will be like 4 plus 5 8 plus 2 40 plus 90 and whatever the result comes it will be the last row of that particular thing so this two rows in this test case the last two rows will be uh, what combined to a single row and then the matrix will be reversed uh, that is each row will be reversed and printed that is what they are saying Okay, so now let us now quickly go into the solution. Now let me solve into this with Python first. I'm getting R and C values. So let me just scroll under. I'm getting R and C values first map of income input dot split. Okay. And then I'm gonna uh, get the what uh, the matrix. So A will be a matrix list of map of n comma n point dot split to so R C columns and I get to R rows. This will get the uh, matrix. And then I'm gonna get the end value. Okay, now uh, 
y in range of r. Okay, the last column value will be like sum of a of i if n is reached to the last row. So, right. So n will be like 4 means the index value will be 3, right? So n minus 1 to the last one. And then I'm going to print the last value. And giving us space. And then I'm going to reverse the what, remaining characters. Uh, this is point the job. So already I have uh, there will be like k values so n minus 2 will be correct right? so you can just see so what I have given like n minus 2 plus n minus 1 to c I have taken so the remaining will be from n minus 2 so since I am gonna print in reverse I have given minus 1 minus 1 print k comma j this I'm gonna keep the print statement yeah. so let us now give a simple test case you can give anything I'm just giving my own test case let me say 2 comma 4 so 2 rows 4 values 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 I'm gonna give n value as uh, let me say 3 so I'll be getting like this 3 plus 4 will be 7 5 plus 8 will be 15 so yeah next all the things will be reversed so I guess it will pretty much work with all the test cases you can just check it out now I just solve it in C I just stay the compiler and uh, changing the comment Now let for C will be uh, needing a header file stio dot h return zero and I need two variables R and C for getting rows and columns and within that and then I'm getting the declaring a uh, two dimensional array with R and C and then I'm gonna get the I'll just give I and J here over here mm. I'm gonna get the values for the matrix J plus C and C J plus plus And then I'm gonna get the value for n. Okay. So now I have to calculate the sum, right? So the same logic. I'm gonna iterate to r columns for i is equal to zero, i is greater than r, i plus plus. Okay. And I'm gonna have a variable called sum. So for int no, j is equal to k minus 1, which is sorry, n minus 1, j is less than c, j plus plus, I'm gonna sum these values up. And out of this second for loop, I'm gonna print the sum value. the rest I am going to have an another loop so that I will be like n minus 2 to n is greater than or equal to 0 sorry j is greater than or equal to 0 j minus minus so here I am going to print the rest values that is i commands a of i of j all of this for loop I am going to have a line cursor so I 
guys yung mga dan. Ito na this mga dan. Yeah. So, same. Ito yung I'm giving my own input. Yeah, it works perfect. So, you can just check with other text cases. I hope. I'm clear with my explanation. If you have any doubts, you can reach us to our discussion forum. Thank you.